out more. And today on Good Things, we're going to find out more about one of the programs at the University of Southern Mississippi. They are the only four-year institution in the United States to offer an uncrewed maritime systems certifi- certification uh, program. And it looks really cool, and it sounds really neat. So one of their instructors is joining us here, Kevin Martin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Jen. Uh, Rebecca, how's it going? It is going good, and I think this is super cool, even though, I'll be honest, I have no idea what y'all are doing. (laughs) So it's an easy place to start. So, okay, talk about the program. What is the program about? So the program is uh, basically about uncurrent systems, and what uncurrent systems are is basically drones that that we use in the ocean, um, for, for lack of better terms. So everybody knows a lot about the, the aerial drones that people can buy, you know, for toys and everything uh, around this time of year. But what we do uh, in oceanography and, and in marine sciences, is we use a little bit more expensive uh, drones uh, to go out either on the surface of the water, under the water. Uh, these vehicles can stay out for uh, hours at a time, days at a time, and uh, the vehicles I actually operate uh, stay out months at a time. So, uh, so we basically train in this course. We talk about all these types of vehicles. So who would be taking this course, Kevin? Uh, so majority of the students so far that have taken this course have been uh, Navy Oceanographic employees, people in the government that are uh, using a lot of these pieces of equipment. We have had some of our ocean engineering students come through the course as well. Uh, this is a very rapidly growing field. I was reading an article this morning uh, that NOAA basically shows about a 60% growth in the ocean enterprise sector, which this is part of. It's a big driving market in the, in the military uh, area, also in the academic area to do research. It's a way of getting out relatively cheaply uh, to get data that we couldn't get before. Like you, you know, we're putting these systems in the hurricanes. We're putting these systems out in places where we don't want to be as humans. We can let the the, the uncrewed systems, the autonomous systems, uh, go out and do the work for us, uh, and we can stay out of harm's way. And I know y'all just had your first, I think, five students to sort of graduate or, I guess, obtain this uh, certification or go through the program. Do they have, like, already have degrees, or is this something where you might could come in and get a technical sort of career out of this, or is this good to be, you know, an an add-on to another degree there that that USM provides? So the course that we just uh, actually graduated is our second-level course. Uh, We've actually been teaching the first-level course uh, for the past five years. Um, so all these courses, uh, the first level course is 10 credit hours towards college. Uh, and this, the course we just graduated, the, the tier two course, the operator course is actually 12 credit hours uh, in the certificate course. Uh, some of these, we have had a few students, traditional USM students go through and use it for graduation. A lot of the students that have come through are already employed. Um, And they're using it to work towards pay raises, work towards different positions at the jobs. Uh, If you work in the government, you have to take X amount of education credits in order to move up in in the government pay scale. So the students are using uh, this as as a way to to work up in the workforce. This is pretty cool. Okay, Kevin, how did this wind up in Mississippi at Southern Miss, considering they're the only four-year university that offers these programs? So the University of Southern Mississippi uh, uh, Marine Science Division is uniquely located out here at Stennis Space Center. So we're right next to the Navy Oceanographic Office uh, and everything. And they have a a large fleet of uncrewed systems. And we've been talking with them, and they've been talking with us. And they realize as as they expand out their program, of uncrewed systems, they need a way of getting a formal training. In the whole world, actually, there is no official formal training in uncrewed systems uh, that we could send people to or whatever. So USM, uh, after talking with the Navy, the Navy agreed to actually fund the initial program uh, here at USM, and we went and we built this uh, the certificate program up uh, five years ago, started teaching uh, the, basically the general part of the uncrewed systems. And then this year, we went, took it one step further, and we're starting to teach um, the actual operations of a specific type of vehicle. So this is going to expand 
and continue to expand, uh, the program is going to keep growing because the market is growing as well. Kevin, you mentioned that most of the students in this program already have jobs, or maybe this is just an add-on bonus to their career. But is this a hard system to learn? I mean, when you think about piloting something, you think about all these different skills, but this is uncrewed. I mean, this is, as you said, sort of like a drone in the ocean, which I can totally wrap my mind around, uh, around that, Kevin. So what kind of like just, you know, good walking around skills does someone need to maybe make a good, and I don't even know, is pilot or operator maybe is the better word for one of these devices? Pilot or operator has been used depending on what system you're using. Um, there is, there isn't necessarily a set skill set that you need to operate them. You don't necessarily need to be an engineer to operate these systems. Uh, there's different levels of operation. As you can imagine, you have the, the person who's going to fix it when it breaks or the person that might just be the one out there uh, running the software, running the system and making it fly. Uh, so there, there's different levels of um, education or, or necessarily mindset you have to have going forward. I've been operating these vehicles for 14 years now, and I have a degree in marine biology. Pretty cool. You know, I think we often don't talk enough about the fact that USM does have, like, a leading marine biology or sort of uh, oceans, I guess, what's the right word for it, sector at the college, right? I mean, we talk a lot here on Good Things about STEMIS and all the great work that they're doing trying to get humans to Mars, but there's this other whole world uh, below us, right, that we still have to explore, and there's some really cool jobs there. So what would be sort of your pitch to parents listening or even students listening about marine biology or going into sort of the, the ocean route, ocean science? So, yeah, so now it's more the marine science side that I'm on than the marine biology, and that's a whole other discussion uh, to go in between the two. Uh, but the School of Ocean Science and Engineering here at the University of Southern Mississippi, uh, we have now the, the marine biology program, the marine science undergrad program. We have ocean engineering. We have, I believe it's the only uh, undergrad program in hydrography, which is mapping the ocean floor. Uh, and then we have all the coastal science stuff uh, that's over at GCRL as well in, in an undergrad program, and that a lot of those programs step up to the graduate program. So University of Southern Mississippi is all across the coast down here, up in Hattiesburg. We are set, situated to study the ocean. Uh, the saying is we know more about the surface of the moon than we know about uh, the bottom of the ocean, and that is true. Uh, it's actually easier to go to the moon than it is to go to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, so we have um, leading faculty members, uh, leading technology here on the coast, trying to study the ocean the best way possible, study the sound, study the Gulf of Mexico. We do studies actually all the way around the world uh, to look at different events going on or whatever else you want to study. Kevin, what got you interested in the ocean? Uh, well, I'm a farmer guy from Pennsylvania, so it's kind of ironic that I ended up in the ocean, but uh, my grandparents actually lived on the shoreline up in Connecticut, so I went up there a lot, uh, got really interested in it, um, and kind of worked my way into it. I just like going out to sea. I like being by the beach. Um, I do like the mountains sometimes, uh, but it's just a great opportunity to go out and explore something. I've been, on, I've been out on ROV cruises and, and all these cruises, and sometimes I've seen things for the first time that nobody else has seen, um, or we, we find phenomenon. So we're always finding something new in the ocean. Uh, even here on the coast, we're always finding something new. Well, if this is news to us or something new we'd like to add to maybe our resume or maybe see if it's a good fit for the jobs we already have or students interested in ocean science there at USM, where do we go to get more information? Uh, you basically go to the USM website, uh, usm.edu slash ocean site. Uh, I think if you just go to usm.edu slash ocean, it comes up. I sh should have been more prepared for that question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I bet it does. I bet, considering you're the only uni four-year university that has it. You yeah. just type in uncrewed and USM, and it's going to yeah. pop up right there for you. If well, yeah. you want the uncrewed program, it's, it's actually uh, usm.edu uh, slash ocean, and it comes up to the Ocean Science and Engineering web uh, uh, Internet page. 
And then it talks about our graduate programs or undergraduate programs, and then there's a certificate. And there, that program is listed there. Uh, we are going to teach our next Tier 1 course in coming up in March. And then our new Tier 2 course, uh, the second run of it, will be uh, next October. All righty. Super cool stuff, Kevin. I thank you for your time and your passion for the ocean. Learn something new today. All right. Well, thank you for having us on. All righty. You guys stick with us. We've got more good things for you.